Mark Serrano remembers the first time he was alone with his abuser, Father Jim Hanley. Serrano was a fourth grader at St. Joseph's in Mendham, New Jersey, and just nine years old. Father Hanley was friendly, put his arm around me, and just said, I hear you've been acting up in class. Uh, and, you know, you've got to stop giving the nuns a hard time. Um, you know, tell you what, why don't you come and see me at the rectory? A gregarious priest, Hanley, worked slowly to gain Serrano's trust and the trust of Serrano's parents, Pat and Lou. In individual visits, Father Jim would sit me on his lap, he would pull out the Hustler magazine, and he would give me basically a sex education course. The molestation escalated to sexual acts, which he kept secret from his parents. He escaped the abuse at age 14 when he graduated from St. Joseph's. I was no match for a cunning predator. That's what he was. The Catholic Church has struggled to come to grips with abuse cases like Mark Serrano's, but U.S. church officials insist they are learning from past mistakes and have implemented abuse awareness programs and more rigorous screening measures. It, it's probably the worst thing to think that a child was abused. The Archdiocese of Washington, which has seen 22 abuse cases involving priests in the last 60 years, is tackling the problem on multiple fronts. This is video two, a plan to protect God's children. Everyone from priests to secretaries and church volunteers are required to attend a three-hour sex abuse awareness program. It details the warning signs of abuse, like a sudden change in a child's behavior. It also explains how child predators target their victims. Starting with your left hand. And they must submit to criminal background checks through an electronic fingerprinting process, which is matched against the FBI's national database. And the program reaches into schools as well to teach children how to recognize and respond to inappropriate behavior. Tell someone, tell the civil authorities, make sure a kid's safe. And that's pretty much the bottom line. But there were no protections for Mark Serrano in the 1970s. He tried reporting the abuse to church officials and state authorities, but Hanley remained a priest. Later, he admitted to abusing Serrano and 11 other boys and was defrocked. Do you think you could ever return to the church? As soon as this structure is changed, as soon as bishops are held accountable for enabling sex offenders to molest and rape children, um, and I don't believe that it will take place in my lifetime or my children's lifetime, unfortunately. His faith in Catholicism now shattered, a deep-seated pain the church is trying to both heal and prevent. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, Lansdowne, Virginia.